gentlemen, boys, and girls of all ages, it is Jack PS9 here, and we are doing a quick tips and tricks video, basically, on how to get your like most time in that out of your survival missions. It's actually pretty simple for the most part. Um, as you guys know, personal life support got oh for crying out loud, really in the middle of. But yeah, I grabbed the personal life support capsules and like every chance you get. For those that are typically sitting in a team or whatever, if you're after XP, of course, you know, sit probably within the same room just so that you can at least collect all that XP from them killing. The main reason why I'm saying st stay within the same room is because I don't exactly know how big the range is but you should be at least gaining over 50% of it if you're staying within the same room depending on the size alright so now other than basically having to grab those capsules which you know well the personal life support capsules give about three to four percent alright on average your actual main life support capsules give 30 alright now I've been actually getting complained at about this and some people have actually left some of my teams when you know I've just wanted to go further and longer and then I'm doing like a Polidorus and I have people using the capsules very early on and I just ask them not to or at least wait until we're under a certain percent now the percent that I end up going by right guys is when you're under 60% alright use the capsules alright don't do it any sooner than that alright um, the reason why I say 60 is because like I said they give a 30% increase, right? Plus, that gives a 10% buffer for anyone that is currently in the midst of collecting the personal life support capsules, right? So that means they can collect three personal life support capsules without affecting the main capsule. Because, let's face it, alright, all you have to do is kill and you will get these capsules, alright? Like the personal ones. So they're not exactly as hard to get. Alright, and 10 of them equal a normal life support capsule, anyways. And as you guys can currently see, I've gone 3 minutes so far, and I haven't even had to bother grabbing a single one, like an actual normal life support capsule. Alright? So it really isn't that hard to do the first 5 minutes with just personal life support capsules. It's actually quite easy as long as you're killing fast enough. But with a full team anyways, even with low levels, you should be able to pull this off without any problems at all, so... Yay! Now, the length that you want to go is personally entirely based on you, alright, and how far and strong you are in the game because let's face it. Oh, one second. If you're gonna just you know die easily to like level tens, right? I wouldn't pass ten minutes. All right. Because as soon as you hit ten minute. Alright, even at the low level stuff, you can start having the napalms, the heavy gunners, and all that. And when I am talking about doing this, guys, I am talking about people doing Apollodorus, because it tends to be where they farm. For the most part, for survival missions. No idea why, it just seems to be where most people go. When I'm typically running it, there's normally about 10, pe 10 plus people running Apollodorus. 
so it makes for getting in real easy. And to getting into these missions, get them started. But yeah. Now, talking about, you know, how long you can last, if you want to know how long you can solo it, just go in, push your lock. If you start to actually get hurt quite a bit, then, you know, leave. Don't bother pushing your lock too much. My personal best is like 30, 35 minutes. I was doing a live stream when I found out, but... Uh, oh, we hit five minutes, all right. So I'm actually gonna exit because the main points were basically when to grab the capsules, which was at 60% or less. Just to give you that small little personal capsule buffer. And to just grab as many capsules basically as possible. Staying in a team. Because, you know, the XP is always a bonus. It'll help you level faster so that you can get some more mods put on. So you can hopefully live longer the next time you run it. Hey. Oh, cut. Go on. I'm gonna use another one while well, I'm trying to exit because else I'm just gonna die. But, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, or subscribe. I'll probably end up doing one on how to kill the infested at some point soon, or do. Actually, I'll probably do another build video next for Warframe before I bother to do any more like tips and tricks or anything like that because really t tips and tricks isn't exactly going to change much so it's not like I have to really worry and for the most part what I've been finding is that it's mostly um, newer players that are having the issues with the survival missions and not using the capsules at the proper times it's not like their fault or anything like they just don't know when to properly use it and I got nothing bad about it or anything like they're new still learning we were all at that point at some point so you know can't complain sure we've all like more than likely used the capsule <laughs> too soon anyways guys thank you for watching and I will see you later bye bye for now